What's going on guys, it's your boy Air Stacks back with another pickup. Right here we have the Nike Flyknit Trainers in black and white. The ones that just released, the 2017 pair. So let's uh, get into it. You know, nice red Nike box. Um, I got a size 11 and a half. I would say go true to size, definitely. Or you could even... This is my exact size. You could go a half size bigger. I have narrow feet. Suggested retail is 150 but I paid $210 for them from somebody. Because, you know, they sold out pretty quick and I didn't catch them, you know, when they did come out. But let's get into it. Regular, um, regular tissue paper. You have some extra black laces that it comes with. And here they are. The Nike Flyknit Trainers, um, I like them a lot, I think they're pretty dope as far as the look of it. I mean, of course, when they first released, um, I really don't know when, but um, you know, they're also known as the Yay Knits because Kanye wore them and that was it for them. The hype of them uh, really went up, but as far as the midsole, you have some lines going across towards the bottom, I mean the center and the bottom, then you have a black line that creates a design going to the front of the shoe then stops once it gets to the towards the front as far as the front of the toe it continues down to the bottom of the sole revealing this type of pattern which looks like it creates a lot of grip with that Nike symbol that kinda looks like the same symbol they use when they have like uh, the Nike workout app where you could integrate on your phone to track your steps but I don't think this shoe has it the chip um, as far as the top, you have that fly knit texture going along the uh, whole shoe. Round laces, very stretchy like material on the tongue, and it says Nike Fly Knit Trainer on it. Um, you have a back pull tab that is attached to the back of the heel. On the inside of the shoe, there is literally a black insole. There's no writing at all. But on the back of the heel is like a suede texture. Very comfortable shoe for the most part. Um, as far as uh, not really much support on it. You know, it does feel like a shoe that's only worth $150. It doesn't really feel special at all. I'll be honest with you guys. You know, um, the uh, Nike symbol itself is just printed on it's not stitched on I mean the shoe is exactly what it is honestly it's nothing special um, it's just pretty cool I'm not I'm not gonna lie wearing it with like fair god jeans um, the fair god trousers etc you know with the zip on the bottom it makes it look really good I personally think that uh, Jerry Lorenzo made the hype of these shoes you know pretty big when he had wore them in his Instagram posts I've seen a lot of people getting them right after that um, in the front of the toe box you see like this design over here that creates on both of the shoes and as far as the lace loopholes it does look like there is a string there which it is and there's also a hole on the texture on the side of the um, shoe for the loophole itself which is pretty cool I like that but what do you guys think of these? What do you guys think of this shoe? Um, I just picked it up. Uh, you know, I felt like it was cheap enough. So I just added it to the collection. Why not? And like I said, it does look dope with some, with certain outfits. And I definitely think I'll be wearing these a lot. I still think the Ultra Boost is a lot more comfortable compared to these. But that's just my opinion. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy, Air Stacks. I'll be back soon with more pickups. One.